Hi everybody, it's Julie and I'm here with another video of the edition of the Spring Blossom Junk Journal Embellishment Kit video thing. <laughs> so um, we are going to make some little charms. I'm just grabbing some of my tools. So I have jewelry tools um, in the kit. I've given you a variety of beads. And so we will be working with those. Also, you were to make 10 of the uh, book page beads. And that's so that, you know, because they will match. And um, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing, you're going to want to find your... You'll have three of the head pins, so three of those. Yeah, and you also have a stick pin. So um, those we have those. Then you also have some white and some blue wire. So and it it was um, rolled up like this. So I just want to straighten it out for you. Okay. So those are those are what we have. Um, we have several of the silvery beads, and also there's some eyelets that we could use as beads, and um, and then you have the pink, the yellow, and the blue little beads. You have some blue glass beads there's a lot uh this one is more like a a rock bead and it's blue um we also have some paper clips we're going to put them over here with the the clothes pin okay so and there's one um peachy pink there's this yellowish colored one and so Anyway, so let's go ahead and get started. Your your pin color may vary. Um, this one obviously is yellow, and so we're just going to go ahead and make a little charm here. I'm going to go ahead and add a uh, the blue and the little silver, and I think I'll add a pink one here. And I'm going to call that one good. It has the yellow head pin on it. I'm going to grab my... These are rounded all the way around. And I'm going to start with it in, in the middle of the rounded pliers. Try and get a grip. And turn. Grip and turn. Grip and turn. All the way down to where we have the circle. Okay, I'm gonna need that to be a little smaller. I gripped it up too high. <laughs> so, come down a little bit on my pliers and, because what I want it to do is I want it to come around to itself so that it will, um, it'll stay on whatever I decide to use it on. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and pull it back to straighten it out a little bit. So pull it like this. And this one has a flat, actually this one's going to be better, it has a flat So there we have our first charm. I really do want that to be smaller. Sorry about that. We're going we're gonna to make it smaller. Of 
And the pin is, is a harder one because it is, the metal is harder. There we go. That's better. Okay. We're going to clamp it together and pull it so that it becomes like this. So there we have a little charm and it matches, oops, it matches our book cover. And so it's going to look really pretty hanging on the on there or possibly a paper clip. So next we have a head pin. And for the head pins, you're probably gonna wanna start it with either one of these little blue ones or one of the little yellow ones because the center of it is, um, is gonna be stopped by the head of this head pin. So when I do this kind, I usually like to build it up. So since this is a small one, adding something a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, and then add one of the, maybe not as long as that, maybe this one. And we used a toothpick on these and that gives us a really good center. So we might even be able to go over and put one of these on our tassel, which would be really kind of cool if we could do that. So um, the other thing that happens is you can use your um, eyelets as a bead as well. I'm not going to. Let's see, I want something Let's go with this, this big yellow bead, okay. So if we go with the big yellow bead, we don't have room to come back, to come back down. Oh, let's go let's go blue rock rock blue rock if we can find the hole it, it's hard to hold things with my with my dumb thumb okay I really do like okay I want to be able to put one of these paper pen so maybe before okay so we'll go like that blue pink paper pen and the smaller flowery silver yeah that's better and then maybe the, nope. I don't have any yellow on here yet, but yellow. And we got to remember to leave enough room to make our, our closure at the top. So we'll keep it like that. Okay. We're going to make our closure smaller this time. Okay, and you'll find that this is much easier to turn than the, the other one was. Okay, so it doubles up on itself, which is good. Let's see if you can get it to close down and then close. together and 
rock it back a little bit. This is when you realize you need new glasses. <laughs> so there's that one. So we have the head pin again, and that's last one we started with blue, so we'll start with yellow. Let's go yellow, and then look at this is a long pink one. It's kind of funny. And then maybe one of those blue glass ones that were a little bit bigger. And um, so, you know, these, these yellow and the blue were necklaces, vintage necklaces that I took part to put into this kit. We have the silver. The yellow big fat oh you know what we have this one that's really pretty it's got some pink on it I think we'll save that one I have an idea for that one um, let's go with the big yellow okay big yellow should go at the bottom so we'll go there go yellow yellow then go with this bulby one. This there. This pink one. The glass blue one. The tiny silver. We'll try that. <laughs> and um, then you can make more of these using and then I think we'll close it off with the other yellow. I like that one. So And remember, if you have something in your stash, you can use that also. So there's that. We have another head pin. And let's go ahead and start this one with blue. No, we'll start it with the yellow because naturally the blue one I picked up, I can't see the hole. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and put this cool... This one has the blue with the pink. Really pretty. Um, none of these silver ones. Oh, will the, how will that look? It needs something in between. So try one of these flowery, the big flower bulb. Oh yeah, like that. Because you're kind of same, same size-ish. Let's try this one. Now, I don't want to take away from that. Try another yellow. Yellow, and then a pink. Blue glass. course that's not going to work because we're at the <laughs> what was I thinking <laughs> well here let's try another blue one on here can't 
find the hole. I can I, I saw it. I know it's there. Couldn't find it. These ones are kind of cool. They look denim. But it's actually a, a bead. Yeah. Let's go pink. Ooh, how about another one of the long pink ones? Because it kind of doesn't look like the other pink ones. And you can even put like a button on, put a button down at the bottom. That might've been cool. Let's try that. We have these clear buttons. I saw I, I put book paper on one of the clear buttons. That's kind of cool. You can put sequins in there too. I'm gonna use those for something else, so I'm not gonna put them on. That doesn't have a hole. Okay, so that does blue. So you can put these in any order that you want to. Just make sure that you leave a little bit. Yeah, not gonna not I don't want to take away from this. I like that. What if we Oh, I like that. Look at the little <laughs> Looks like the bead is wearing a hat. I like that. The bead is wearing a hat. And sometimes you just want to play with it a little bit to get the right arrangement. Oh, glass bead. I like the color of the glass one. Looking for a little herb. Oh, there's that one's very pink. I like that. Maybe one of the big flowers. And Roll it. We want it. We need, the, sorry, we need the little, the circle to be a little smaller. It was too, too big. It wasn't coming around. We want it to come around so that, um, so that it doesn't come undone. might have made it too big. There we go. There we go. So those are the ones made with the head pins. And then what you can do is you can literally take a bead and have it 
hold at the bottom. Okay. And then add your beads, come down and they can, like this, I think we, oh, we do have some, I was like, I think we've used all the glass, but we didn't, we had some. Okay, now when you're cut, going through two pieces of wire, you need to make sure that the hole is going to be big enough. I'm not sure on this glass bead. It's trying. Okay. Not quite. Okay, so let's go to one of the paper beads that we made out of the book paper. I think they're so fun. No, this wire might be, oh, it, it works, even the yellow. I was worried that it might be bigger than the, than the head pin was. Okay. Okay, so cut it off. And then this one is should be really easy to turn. It is. I just make a little bead top. Boom. There we go. Okay, and then maybe just just use the rock. So we have the rock and the bead. Bead goes down. Maybe a silver. And a pink, because you have a lot of pink. Again, cut it. Come back. Turn it. And clamp it. As you can see, these are probably, these are the easiest ones. Yeah, I know there was, a, there it is. It's like, I know there was another piece of white. Okay. So, big piece of silver. A smaller one because we need to make sure we still have room on the top okay so one more So that gives us a variety of bead dangle charms 
that we will be able to use using our head pins, our um, pearl pin, and the wires. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you, <laughs> excuse me, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, put them down below. Find something to celebrate every day. Let's show you those. Sorry about that. Forget they're kind of, kind of little. So there we go. I really like this one. This one's the one made with the pearl pin. These are the head pins. And these are the wire. Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe and have an amazing day. Bye. Thank you. Bye.